So I can honestly say that I never pictured recording this video back when I started this channel, Ditching Diets and Die, just under five months ago. And let me first say, I realize how clickbaity this sounds right now, and this is not my intention, and I think you will understand it in just a moment. But before I get into it, I do want to walk you back and take you back in time to about five months ago when I was deciding whether I want to actually launch this channel. <laughs> and I took a big blanket to the park and a journal and a bunch of colored pens and just started to brainstorm. What are all the ideas? What could I actually talk about? And I had two lists, ditching diets and ditching dye. And the dye one was kind of short. I had only decided maybe two months earlier that I was going to let my natural hair grow out. But I had been spending probably six months on getting rid of sort of this, these restrictions and to stop dieting and stop thinking about it so much. So I had these two lists and I thought, okay, I don't have a lot on the hair, but this is sharing my journey. So I'll obviously do regular updates on how's my hair growing out. Here's, here's your sneak peek. <laughs> but I thought, okay, there's lots of stuff here that I've experienced firsthand when I decided to give up restricting and what that's like. And it's a really rocky road, which is true. But <laughs> then I realized quickly after starting to make some videos, I had thought I will alternate back and forth. I'll make one on ditching diets, one on ditching diet, and just go back and forth. And I noticed quickly that viewers were responding to the ditching the dye and not so much on the ditching diets. And so I started to respond. And I started to make a little bit more content related to ditching the dye. But here's the part where it gets unexpected. Is that yes, I was making more videos about my gray hair journey and transition than I was about deciding to quit dieting. But I also started to notice over the past couple of months that I don't really want to talk about quitting dieting anymore. When I was in the summer thinking about this channel, I genuinely thought oh, this is, there's so much I'm experiencing and learning firsthand and I want to share all of this. But now when people talk about food, I kind of just, I don't want to talk about it. And I think it's a really good sign because it means that I'm just not being consumed by it. I'm not spending very much time thinking about food. I don't think about feeling guilty. I don't consider things good or bad anymore. And that's amazing. So the part that's really strange to me is that I actually think that quitting both diets and dye, ditching both of them, is one of the best decisions I have ever made. <laughs> I feel much more free, which means I can spend my time thinking about the things that really matter, the things that are true priorities and things that I really value. And, but I just didn't expect it because typically when I find something that works really well or when I feel like I've made the right decision, Usually I want to get up on the rooftop and just tell everyone. That's just, that's me. I've always been that way. I want to talk about something if I think it works. But in this case, it actually feels like, you know what? I have other things that I would rather talk to people about. And the other piece is that I have learned firsthand through this community how important, this is reinforced how important it is for every single individual to find the path that is right for them. Because as a person who has found a path that is right for me, it feels good. And I want other people to feel that. Now, I don't want them to necessarily do what I'm doing. I want every single person to do what they want to do. Yes, you might call me Pollyanna-ish. And I am a very positive outlook, optimistic person. That is me <laughs> to the core. And I have no shame about that. But I do find it interesting that it, it has been a shift. And I never expected that I would just not really want to talk about that part and just not talk about what it's been like ditching the diets. Now, if someone were to ask me a question, I would happily answer, but I just don't feel myself wanting to make that content. Now, it just so happens that it does align with what viewers are telling me, which is you're interested in the gray hair journey, not so much on the ditching dye. And I, that kind of works. It's just, it's a little bit perfect. Now, I am going to then stop making content about ditching diets, or at least intentionally. I don't know if I'm going to change the name. It feels like maybe it's a hassle. I don't know. I haven't figured that out yet, but I did want to make this video today for people who have been coming along for the journey, just to give you an update and see where my head's at. And I did want to describe what's happening because I did not expect 
to just not really want to talk about it. Here's the other thing you might not know about me, is that I went to school and studied nutrition. I even opened a clinic and I started seeing people and helping them with their nutrition. That's how much I used to think about nutrition and food and wanting to help people and teach people. But now that I found something that really truly feels freeing and is the right thing, it's just not my focus. And there are other things for me that I would rather focus on. And so that's what I'm going to do. So that is my update. And it's also why it's kind of hard to describe <laughs> what this, this video or this update is about. So thank you for those of you who have stuck around. Um, you know, if you want to leave a comment, if you have some thoughts on this, please feel free to, but that is what's happening. That is my update. And that is the thing that I definitely did not expect to happen when I started this channel just under five months ago.